What's up everybody, Father Winitachi here, back at it again with another pokey vlog. We are hitting up one of our local parks. In fact, we about to do what we did a couple vlogs ago and we about to hit up a couple local parks. Uh, starting off with the very first park. It is a small one and there's not that much nearby. But there is three pokey stops that are pretty close by as well as some decent Pokemon. I decided to adventure off to different parks today because just to see if we can hatch some more eggs. Again, we are now aiming for only three more Pokemon. Uh, out of the 10Ks, I am not hatching, but I'm still aiming for that Lapras because it is the only thing that I do not have from a 10K egg. And we are aiming for Porygon as well as Lickitung from the 5Ks. But uh, we didn't get too much out of that, but we're gonna get these two Pokestops really quickly here. I am aiming for tons of Pokeballs because I have ran out because uh, I did a lot of capturing in our last episode. And we did a lot of evolving in our last episode as well. But we are going to try and uh, see if there's any cool and interesting Pokemon that are within the area. But for now, we're going to go ahead and hit the Pokestops for a couple times, walk back and forth. And, and if we find anything cool, I'll bring you guys back. But uh, for the time being, there is really nothing on our uh, nearby list as, at all. So nothing interesting of that matter. And let's go ahead and check out the level of this gym as well. Check it out, it's Team Instinct. They level two gym, it's only an 1836 Arcanine. I could take it over, but I'm really too lazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit over to that Pokestop that's way on the opposite side of the park. And one last thing, as I always like to do, go ahead and show you guys how the eggs are cooking. Uh, we got nine eggs right now. We've got one that's at 4.4, 1.0 uh, out of two, and uh, the rest are 2.6 and 2.7 out of five. So two of them are halfway, uh, three of them are halfway done. Uh, one is a 2k though, so it should pop soon, but our next one is going to be a 5k, uh, 0.6 kms, and we'll be able to get that done ASAP, but we're just basically walking around, chilling today, a relax, relaxing day, uh, not too much is going to happen unless we find any cool and interesting Pokemon, which is why I'm adventuring to different parks today, I would like to see if we can find some cool uh, Pokemon, especially some evolved forms, especially some ones that I do not have yet, but I am sick of these goddamn Ekans. Uh, take the Caterpie though, because I do need this Caterpie. But uh, we're gonna get this Caterpie out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and head on over to the Pokestop, get these three Pokestops a couple times, uh, head and venture back and forth, and then after we've got this, we will go ahead and make our way to another park. So until then, I will see you guys there. While I bring you guys back, I've decided to go ahead and evolve my Metapod. Uh, we are finally going to get our very first Butterfree to the squad added here. And again, this is going to be a new Pokemon, so this is a great start to the vlog as well. Uh, we just caught a Caterpie not too long ago, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and now that we have enough candies, or enough decent candies, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our very first Butterfree, and I'm very stoked about this. It took me a while to get a Butterfree, the reason being that I was using my Caterpies as well as my Weedles and Pidgeys uh, for experience boost. But we finally got a Butterfree added to the crew. It is an 802 Butterfree. It is not too bad, but it's not amazing. It is very similar to my Beedro. I'm going to go ahead and favor this one. And hopefully we can catch another Caterpie so we can go ahead and uh, make sure we get that Metapod back onto the crew. And I know it is very windy, but uh, we will be able to evolve, let's see, my Nidorina into a Nidoqueen as well as this Nidorino into a Nidoking when we get a couple more. We're very, very close. So until then, I'm going to start uh, getting back to those Pokestops and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I've been thinking while I've been doing these Pokestops, what's my hold up on the actually evolving my Nidorina and my Nidoran, I mean my Nidorino. Uh, there really isn't a hold up. And the fact is I'm gonna have to get another Nidorina and a Nidorino anyways. And these are the top two Nidorinas and Nidorinos that I can get at my current level. They're really, really good. So I just thought, why not? Why not? You know what? Why not? So we're at 91 candies on this Need Arena, so we will be able to evolve her soon. But on this Need Arena, I am positive I have enough candies. I do. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Nido King. So this is another Pokemon that's getting added to the Pokedex. I am super stoked. Um, we are adventuring in. I mean, we are getting close to that 142 mark under the Pokedex. And there's one for, and the reason why I say 142 is there's 142 available in the US, 
Um, there's a couple of others that aren't even available in the game yet, and then there's some that are region specific. And we finally got ourselves our very first Nido King, so I'm very happy about that as well. And it is a 1461, which isn't too bad, and it should be in my top six. So the, if I find anything else that I have to evolve, I will evolve it. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go ahead, and we're still at the same park. We're gonna go ahead and keep grabbing these Pokestops. Hopefully one of our eggs hatch soon, and I'll catch you there. I do got an egg finally about to hatch, and we are gonna be able to, hopefully it's something decent with candies, or, ooh, I said with candies. With candies is the key point on this one though. 13 candies, 20 out of 25, not too shabby at all, not too shabby. Uh, because I do need to get myself another Nidorino. Because I just evolved my Nidorino into a Nido King. Just to make sure and to say that I actually have one. That's the only reason why I do that. But we did find a Pidgeotto, and it, nah, CP's not bad, but I've gotten one that was at 700 and something CP. I evolved one of my Pidgeys into something that was like 790 something. And that's what my current Pidgeot, Pidgeot is at. It's like 1400 CP. Uh, so this Pidgeotto is. Hopefully it's not wasting my time on my Pokeballs right now, or my Great Balls, in fact. I have no more Pokeballs. Hopefully it's not wasting my time. Um, hopefully it's easy to capture, and it wasn't too bad. It was, it was like three or four uh, Great Balls. But we're going to continue with the Pokestops and Egg Hatching, so catch you guys around. Alrighty, we have made it over to the next park. This is the one where that water was, if you guys tuned in a couple vlogs back. I just noticed that we do have a Valor Gym here, and it is missing a Pokemon slot. So, without further ado, might as well just boost up this gym, throw in my Arcanine, beast it up in there, and I believe my Arcanine is now uh, top of the charts, top of the charts, top of the goddamn charts, son. That's how we do it. So, we're just basically going to walk around just like we did at the other park, hatch some eggs, get them Pokestops in, and this park is much bigger uh, than the first park. It's probably four times the size, and then the last park we're going to go to is like three times the size of this park. So... Not too much on our nearby list, and uh, hopefully we can get some more Pokemon that are good out of the eggs again. Porygon, where you at, my man? Didn't even notice, but we've got an egg that's just about to hatch, so... Oh, and I'm not sure. I believe it's a 2K. I believe. Very, it's a Zubat. God damn it. Hate Zubats. Hate Ekans. we got so many of these in our areas. They're so useless for us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer this little dude. And uh, we do have some other eggs that are about to hatch soon. So hopefully they do hatch very shortly. Catch you guys soon. Alright, we found a Ponyta. This isn't what I brought you guys back for. As you guys noticed earlier, I just took over. Well, I didn't take over. But I added one of my Pokemon to boost up our squad in one of our Valor Gyms. Guess what? I don't know what's been going on here. But this gym is completely empty. And it's been empty for a very long time so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one over drop in probably my Snorlax my 1900 CP Snorlax which is my second highest CP Pokemon on the crew so hopefully we can get over there really quickly and then we'll probably after we do this because there's really nothing over here except an Ammonite we did just find something and oh we just found the Ammonite all right cool so there wasn't anything except this Ammonite and this is the only thing that I need very windy, but I know, I know. It's 478 CP, which isn't too bad either. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this Ammonite, go ahead and get this Pokemon Gym into our team of Team Valor. And we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the very last park. Last park, as you guys know, I'm always there. And uh, that's where everything happens. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over to that park. That's where all the, uh, basically, Pokestops are. That's where everybody hangs out as well, that play Pokemon. We just got this Ammonite, which is very cool. Very cool. Let me see the CP though. The CP's not too bad, but it's not amazing. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and take over this gym for ourselves. As you guys can see, there's a nice background behind me. Go ahead and take this over really quickly and uh, drop in our Snorlax. Because our Arcanine, which is our highest CP Pokemon, does have the other gym. And we are just about to hatch an egg, which is very uh, great coincidence. And it is a 5k egg. It's, it's a... Oh my... No... I thought it was, is Redditat 2K or 5K? I don't even know, I don't even care. Let me go ahead and check that one out because that is completely sad news for me. Um, that was a 2K egg, which is very good. All right, cool, that was a 2K egg. I believe it was a 2K egg. Oh well, 
Well, we just found something else, which is a Pidgey. So we're going to go ahead and capture this Pidgey and head on over to the other park. So until then, I'll see you guys there at the other side. Buddy, we've made it to the last park. It is completely dead here. There is no one here. Well, there's a couple people, but I mean, compared to how big this park is, compared to the others, I thought there would be some people here. I guess I got to two-hand this on it, because man, the CP is so bad. The, I, we, this, this park's an Onyx nest, and everybody hates Onyx where we live because of how many we can get at this park. And they're like the worst thing you can get out of a 10k egg, especially for us, for those that actually can get it really easily. And um, yeah, just like London, how they hate drowsies, but we really, really love drowsies because at least with a hypno, you can put it in a gym and it's actually decent. But again, this is the last park of the day. We're just going to go ahead and hit the Pokestops and hatch our final few eggs. Uh, we did have a Paris there as well. There it is. We're going to hatch these final few eggs. I believe there's like two or three left. I'm going to go ahead and check after we capture this Paris. Hopefully it is a one throw Paris capture. Let's see. It's an Ultra Ball of all balls. And it is. We got we it with one ball. I do got to get a lot more Pokeballs. Hopefully we can get them from these Pokestops. Uh, there's not really that many Pokemon in the area that are decent except the Eevee. And uh, we are close enough to this Pokestop. So let's just go ahead and do a little swipe of Rooney here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these eggs really quick. See which ones we've got left to hatch. Uh, we've got a 1.2 out of 2k we can get done, a 4.7 and a 4.6 we can get done. So all three of these eggs are going to be hatched today and then once we've completed that, uh, if there's nothing else in the area that is needed to be done, uh, we're just going to go ahead and head on home. So hopefully we can get these eggs hatched ASAP and I will see you guys there. Again, we are aiming for that Porygon. So again, Porygon, where you at my man? talking about is just about to hatch. I'm not sure if this is a 2 or a 5k egg. We will be soon to find out. Bell Sprout. So it's a definitely a 5k egg. I'll definitely take a Bell Sprout because we do need Victory Bell. Bell Sprout gave us 15 candies, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, 20 out of 25 right now. It is a 596. I just evolved one into a. Goes Bell Sprout. Victory Bell is the last one. Whatever the fuck. Are you joking? Are you joking, Itachi? You've named all 151 on stream before. I can't even think of it. I don't know. The goddamn big lips. I can't think of big, big lips right now, but I just evolved a six something, 690 something bell spout last night into one. Uh, so we are on our way to getting a victory bell on a very good uh, bell spout. Uh, the bell spout we just caught was actually pretty good as well. It was a 590 something, I believe. Uh, but we didn't catch it, we just got out of an egg. And uh, that was a high one as well, but again, yesterday it did evolve a much higher bell sprout. Victory bell, what is the guy? Are you joking? Are you joking right now? I'm going to be so pissed off when I, re when I find out what the name of it is. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. No, I didn't click on Butterfreight. Alright, come on, let's get down, let's get down. Uh, are you joking? Where is it? Oh my gosh, there we go. Weeping bell, are you joking? I forgot the name of that. Oh, well. Oh, well. We good. We good. We're going to go ahead and, I believe, drop a Pokemon in this gym. There's only one Pokemon in a level 2 gym, so this is going to be our third gym that we're going to take over. We took over two at the last park, and we're about to take over... Well, we took over, actually, both of them at the last park. Uh, there was only two gyms over there. And there's three here. One's that Instinct, one's Mystic, and one's Valor. We're going to go ahead and check out this one, because this one's not actually in combat. The other two are in combat, so someone's either trying to take it over or boost it up. Um, but I'm not too sure. We will find out soon. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and add a Pokemon to this gym. And it's probably going to be uh, whatever. My, my Flareon, I believe, is my third highest one now. So let's go ahead and add my Flareon to this gym. Finally going to get some usage out of him. Just made our way to the gym. We're about to drop in my Flareon. I was correct on my Flareon being my third strongest CP-wise. Uh, my Flareon's at 1594. It's not too bad. It's actually very high for a Flareon. Uh, that other gym over there is with Team Instinct, but it is in combat. And then there is another gym over here, I believe, with Team Mystic. And this one's in combat as well, but what level is this one? The other, the Instinct is level 2 with only one Pokemon in it. This one's level 3 with 3 Pokemon. Um, I'm not doing any combat today. I'm just going to be dropping in my Pokemon as soon as possible. If there's any slots open, boost out Team Valor. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and head on over to the other Pokestops. 
and hatch these two final eggs. One's a 2K and one is a 5K. It's windy, but uh, we're about to get this egg hatched and we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the other Pokestops. It is an egg inch, just like last night. And hopefully we don't end it this way. I believe that was my 5K egg, sadly. And uh, we got a couple more. We got one more egg to go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on our journey, our quest. But let's go ahead and check out what other eggs we got because I just got one from Pokestop as well. It was a 5K and I had yeah, a 2K left. Uh, 0.3 kilometers, we're gonna hatch that one. But this 5K, we'll go ahead and throw into an incubator uh, once we can, uh, when we finish this park and when we finish this uh, adventure off. But for now, we got one last egg. It's a 2K egg. Just found something on the radar. It is a Weedle. I will take it and I will continue hatching these eggs with the final one being a 2K egg. Hopefully we can get a starter Pokemon. Charmander, where you went, my man? Our final egg is about to hatch. It is a 2K egg. We are going for any of the starter Pokemon. Um, I would love any of those starter Pokemon, actually, because I do need the candies and hopefully we get a lot of candies from the egg if we do get a starter Pokemon. I do want to say thank you very much for tuning in. This is how we're going to end off today's vlog. Again, our vlogs are released for the Pokevlog Adventures on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And stay tuned for some other content on the channel of YouTube.com slash for the Winnetachi as well. I'm staring at this screen. Hopefully this egg hatches soon. It is 2K at a 2K right now. And um, we do got them for 10K eggs that we need to hatch shortly. Uh, but hopefully we can get another 5 so we can make it a 9 out of 9 video. Possibly a 10 out of 10 video or even more. Uh, depending on if we can get more eggs. I know it is very windy right now. Um, but bear with me because this 2k egg is about to hatch. We're about to get this Pokestop that we're walking right by. Anything on our nearby list? No, there is a Onyx again. I'm done with Onyxes, but we got this. Any eggs? No, we did not get an egg. But we got two more Pokestops to go. But we are going to have, uh, I believe, three empty slots on eggs. So hopefully at least one of these two Pokestops I can get an egg. And then I can just go ahead and go back home and go walk a couple blocks and just farm a Pokestop until I get the rest of my eggs. But when I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and organize all the Pokemon I've caught today. A, a lot of the Pokemon that I caught were trashy Pokemon, so there wasn't too much greatness out of there, but we did get a lot of decent candies, and let's see what we're gonna get out of this. It is a Pidgey. Way to, way to end the vlog off a of Pidgey, man. God damn, all right, all right. That's just how we're gonna end it. But stay tuned for next time. Uh, hopefully we get some more Pokemon added to the Pokedex. We did get that Nidoking, we did get that Butterfree, and we got some more higher CP Pokemon, including that higher up Nidoqueen that's gonna be stacking up on the next video. So stay tuned for more content, brought to you by Further One Itachi. Peace out. Alrighty, now I know there's no cam. I know there's no cam. Relax everybody, dog gooch. But I had to. I had to evolve. So we're going to get rid of the, the 852 Needle Queen because uh, it's, it's super bad and I want my extra candies and I don't want this one anyways. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and evolve this Need Arena. Yes, I'm going to have to do the grind again, get another Need Arena. But I don't think I'm going to get one that is this high CP wise uh, anytime soon. So we're definitely going to go ahead and power this one up and hopefully it's pretty close or even higher than the Needle Queen that we have. Let's go ahead and check it out, but yeah, this is now the footage we're going to end the vlog with, so let's go ahead and get this one in. Let's see what it is. Ooh, 1439. It did not get the extra small, which is great, and it's Sludge Wave and Bite, which isn't too bad. 1439 and 1461, so they are both very close, so again, thank you very much for tuning in. Peace.